I grew up in Korea. My mom used to have a restaurant when I was young, and growing up, helping my mom did affect my goals and dreams. I had always dreamed about being a chef, wearing the white jacket in a kitchen. Meta is a restaurant that I cook based on my memories and experience. Using good quality and seasonal ingredients, every dish is perfectly balanced, compromising of east and west flavors and techniques. I grew up in Korea. I studied and worked in Australia, and I moved to Singapore. Those are countries I work and I live. I remember the flavors and a lot of good memories, so I try to put on a dish that I experienced. As a Korean, when you live overseas, it's quite sad you don't see Korean ingredients. We have top class seafood, we have top class veggies. There are many types of mushrooms in Korea. In Korea, when you go to barbecue, we serve meat and mushroom together. For me, I always eat mushroom first because it has a very soft texture, but yet still have a bit of crunch. Mushroom and asparagus is a classic combination. We use charcoal to grill the mushrooms and vegetables to enhance the flavor. The potato itself is delicious. So I make it into a gnocchi and I use a butter sauce to give the salad more creamy flavors. Sesame oil and perilla oil is commonly used in Korea. Cold pressed sesame oil is very mild and it doesn't get bitter. You can use many cooking methods. Usually the perilla will have a bitter taste, but cold pressing brings down the strong flavor of perilla, but yet keeps the unique herbal fragrance of the perilla seeds. I mix the perilla oil with a thick balsamic vinegar to balance up the acidity. I just wanted to showcase the produce. Oktum is a top class fish that is caught only in Jeju in Korea. A lot of people say it's the most typical fish to cook, but for me it's easiest fish to cook. When you grill the fish, the char flavor is very strong because it contains the fat, and the skin is crispy, and the meat is very tender. Because Korea is surrounded by sea, clams are very common. Korean clams are very good quality and it has an intense flavor. This crab soy sauce, I don't know how they put it, but you can taste the intense crab flavor in the soy sauce. When I was young, I visited my grandmother and she cooked rice in a very big clay pot. It's a very classic technique we use in Korea. I remember the smells and the flavor, so that's what I want to cook. For me now, to make the dish, I think produce is very important. I want people to know that Korean produce is one of the top quality in the world.